when investors think about artificial intelligence the conversation almost always begins with training we talk about massive gpu clusters foundation models capital expenditure and trillion parameter breakthroughs this framing is understandable because training is uh, dramatic it is expensive headline grabbing and easy to visualize but it is also misleading because training is not where ai becomes a business training is where ai becomes possible the real economic value of ai is created later when those models are deployed queried integrated into workflows and used millions or billions of times in the real world that phase is called inference in this video i want to explore a single question Why is AI inference the real price and why is Nebius structurally built to win in that phase of the AI cycle? Along the way we'll also address the most common investor fear. If hyperscalers like AWS, Google and Microsoft offer AI inference, why wouldn't they simply crush smaller players like Nebius? The goal here is to stay real and achieve clarity. Let's start with definitions because confusion here leads to wrong conclusions. AI training is the process of teaching a model using vast data sets. It is computationally intense, happens in bursts and is usually concentrated among a small number of very large players. Players like OpenAI, Google, Meta, Anthropic and a few others. AI inference on the other hand is what happens after a model is trained. Every time you ask a chatbot a question, generate text or code or run an AI agent inside an enterprise workflow, you are performing inference. Training happens occasionally. Inference runs continuously. Training is centralized among a small number of players. Inference happens everywhere across applications and industries. from an economic perspective training is a capital intensive research activity inference is operational recurring and driven by everyday usage and that difference alone already hints at where the long term revenue pool is likely to form here is the key structural insight investors often miss training demand grows with the number of new models Inference demand grows with the number of users, number of applications and increasing count of use cases. Those curves are fundamentally different. A single foundation model might be trained once or a few times a year, but once deployed, it can generate billions of inference requests per day across thousands of enterprises, applications and geographies. This shift is no longer theoretical. According to industry data referenced by management AI inference workloads are growing approximately 40% faster on a monthly basis than overall AI capex investment This is a crucial signal usage is scaling faster than hardware spending As AI moves from experimentation into real world production three important things happen at the same time First inference volume explodes every successful AI product drives more usage not more training second latency and cost suddenly matter a lot more enterprises care less about having the most advanced model and far more about speed reliability and how much each response costs and third ai becomes deeply embedded into everyday workflows from customer support and finance to logistics healthcare and software development running continuously around the clock this is why many industry observers now see inference as the larger and more durable market compared to training executives increasingly believe that as much as Two thirds of the long-term AI opportunity will come from enterprise inference usage, not model training. Training creates the engine. Inference is the engine running non-stop. At first glance, inference might seem simpler than training. After all, you're just running the model, right? In reality, inference is a systems engineering problem, not just a compute problem. 
at scale inference demands extremely low latency very high throughput predictable performance under heavy load efficient use of memory and tight cost control across massive volumes of requests this is why even a 10% improvement in inference efficiency matters far more than a similar improvement in training speed this is because inference runs continuously and those gains compound over time this is also where many general purpose clouds struggle they were in designed from the ground up for sustained high volume latency sensitive ai workloads they were designed to run everything and this is where nebius enters the picture nebius approaches ai inference very differently from both hyperscalers and gpu rental providers at its core nebius treats inference not as a service but as a manufacturing process AI models don't actually generate full answers in one go. They generate tokens one at a time. Each response is built token by token and every token consumes time, energy and money. Once you look at the inference this way, the priorities change. Speed becomes about how many tokens you can produce per second and economics come down to how much each token costs. Nebius entire strategy is built around optimizing this process end to end making token generation faster cheaper and more predictable at scale Nebius token factory is central to this philosophy token factory is not simply an api wrapper around models it is a production scale inference platform designed to serve tokens faster cheaper and more predictably Here Nebius provides measurable proof points. The platform has demonstrated 248 output tokens per second on DeepSeek R1, placing it among the top inference performers globally and delivering up to 3 times higher throughput than major hyperscalers in comparable configurations. In Europe, Nebius reports up to 4.5x faster time to first token versus other inference providers. a critical advantage for latency sensitive workloads through its post training factory nebius enables model distillation that produces smaller version of large models which run 3 to 5 times faster and cost significantly less to operate directly reducing total cost of ownership in practice nebius solution architects report that optimization and right sizing techniques can reduce inference cost by up to 70% without sacrificing output quality this is why nebius token factory is not just about lower latency it's about structurally better economics at scale many investors assume that ai infrastructure is fundamentally about gpus that's only partially true gpus are necessary but they are not sufficient Nebius Ether platform sometimes described as its AI cloud 3.0 sits above the hardware layer it provides software that automatically manages how AI workloads run along with simple tools for deploying updating and scaling AI models in production this software layer creates workflow gravity Once an enterprise builds and optimizes its AI workflows on a specific inference platform, switching providers is not trivial. It often means rebuilding workflows from scratch, re-optimizing performance and incurring meaningful data migration and exit costs. This is how Nebius moves beyond commodity infrastructure and towards platform stickiness. At this point a reasonable question comes up. if uh, hyperscalers already provide ai inference why would enterprises need a specialized player like nebius in the long run the answer lies in incentives and architecture hyperscalers are built to be universal platforms they run legacy enterprise systems databases storage networking general computing and ai all on the same platform nebius takes the opposite approach it focuses almost entirely on ai building its systems from the ground up for that single purpose that focus extends beyond software 
Nebius designs its own server racks, electronics and cooling systems in-house. According to management, this vertical integration avoids OEM markups and results in approximately 20% lower total cost of operations compared to traditional cloud providers relying on third-party hardware. This structural cost advantage allows Nebius to compete on performance per dollar, not just raw compute power. So this isn't about one replacing the other, that is hyperscalers replacing Nebius or vice versa. It's about different tools built for different jobs. Here is a critical mental shift investors need to make. Nebius does not need to replace hyperscalers in order to succeed. In reality, large enterprises are moving towards multi-cloud and hybrid setups. They do this to control costs, optimize performance, meet regulatory requirements, and avoid being too dependent on a single provider. Hyperscalers will continue to dominate general-purpose cloud computing. But when it comes to sustained high-volume AI inference, many enterprises want something more specialized. Dedicated performance, predictable economics, data sovereignty, and a neutral infrastructure partner. That's where Nebius fits in. For enterprises, inference is not an experiment. It is production infrastructure. Companies care about guaranteed performance, clear and predictable costs, strong data separation, regulatory compliance, and confidence that platform will be supported and improved over many years. Nebius offers 99.9% .9 SLA availability for enterprise customers, European data residency, and compliance with GDPR and NIS2, alongside certifications such as SOC2, Type2, ISO 27001, and HIPAA, making it suitable for regulated industries. This enterprise-grade execution helps explain why Nebius has been able to secure large long-term contracts with major technology firms. These deals are not just about capacity, they are about execution credibility. There is another subtle but very important point investors often overlook. Inference economics naturally favor specialists. As inference scales, margins improve over time. This happens because systems get better utilized, software becomes more efficient and teams learn how to run these workloads more effectively with each iteration. Nebius reinforces this advantage through vertical integration. By designing its own servers, racks and cooling systems, it starts from a lower cost base, making each generation of infrastructure cheaper and more efficient than the last. General purpose clouds cannot focus exclusively on this optimization loop. Specialists like Nebius can. Over time, this difference does not show up in headline announcements, but it does show up quietly in better cost curves, stronger customers' retention, and deeper, more mature platforms. How you think about Nebius determines how strong the investment case feels. If you see Nebius as just another GPU provider or as a smaller cloud trying to compete with AWS, the story will always feel fragile. But if you frame Nebius as a production scale inference platform, a company focused on efficiently generating AI output at scale, the picture changes. Nebius is better understood as a token manufacturing specialist and a software enabled AI cloud rather than a simple infrastructure vendor. It is not betting on building the biggest or most famous models. It is betting on running AI at scale cheaply and reliably. That is where AI becomes a business. Let's return to the question we started with. Why is AI inference the real price and why is Nebius built for it? Because inference is where usage compounds, costs truly matter, enterprises make long-term commitments, and platforms are formed. Nebius has aligned its entire architecture from hardware to software to economics around this reality. Hyperscalers will remain dominant. GPU providers will continue to exist. But between these two extremes lies a critical layer specialized AI inference infrastructure. 
Nebius is not trying to win AI by being everything to everyone. It's trying to win by being exceptionally good at the one phase of AI that runs continuously at massive scale and for years at a time. That is why inference not training is the real price and why Nebius deserves to be analyzed on its own terms. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Also consider joining my membership channel for regular updates and deeper insights. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.